Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Garrett, and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077 on the Xbox Series X. Last episode, we uh, ended up getting some cybernetic upgrades and gotten our first job. Uh, we're kind of hanging out here, waiting for the time to come by. We're going to take a look at the city before I skip time, though. I really just want to see the city. A lot of people up and around there. That's not bad. Got to go there between 6 and 8 p.m. I know we can skip time. I like the little lean we do. What was that? I, I saw a prompt. I swore it. Scan people now. Look for warrants. Go ahead. All right, I'll go. V, got a rat problem on my block. Who doesn't, right? Thing is, these rats are human sized. Look just like tiger claws, too. Hmm. Biggest one is a certain Taki Kenmochi. So do your fixer a solid and neutralize her ass, will you? Deeds attached. Okay, let's do it. Where's that at? Oh, heck, that's not too far away at all. Take those. I really did nothing to you guys. You realize that, right? Got one. Shoot at me now. Come back here. Whoa, what was that? <laughs> Oh, cool. I'm not sure what I threw, but I threw it. I just assumed it was a grenade of some sort. Woo! 
Give me your stuff, nerd. Anything else I need from here? That's what I'm here for. I'm a problem solver. A real problem solver. Damage power chip. What we got in here? Foods? Anything I can eat? That. Ooh, got some boxes. There's something here. A little something, something for the road. So hoping I could just jump in the window, but it wasn't open. There we go. Wait, no, 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 no. Coming out. Ah, oh, it's over, all you people. Quit freaking out. It's like you've never heard gunshots go off. Calm down. What time is it? It's four. Oh, good. We're almost... By the time we get there, it might be uh, time for the mission. Anything good to eat over here? Is it like a quick travel? It is. Good to know. Ran over here. Time is it? Four nineteen. Okay. Let's go ahead and skip time a little bit then. I mean, you're closed. Yeah, because I don't wait an hour, huh? Hey there, dollface. Hey. Any interest you want a preem BD? Not my first time. Don't remember you. Because I didn't get in through the front. Huh, get a load of this one. Right. Rules are simple. Someone catches your eye, you do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. No recording, no copping feels when the guards ain't looking. In you go. Have fun. <laughs> Welcome to Lizzie's. My, what a sweet little face you have. What's up, everybody? Yeah, I sat over there last time, I'm pretty sure. Or in that corner. One of the two corners. Hey. Get you something. 
What's on the menu? What we got? Reduces weapon accuracy by 50%. Holy crap. Wow. That's all alcohol. Oh, it only lasts 30 seconds. Oh, I'm like, good lord. Well, that, if that's the case. Oh, let's take one of these for now. So, curious, the name Lizzie's, that the owner? Not for a long while, no. And it's none too sweet a story. Oh, now I'm just flat interested. The real Lizzie ran a strip joint out of his place back in the day. Lizzie's bar. Those were paid right, insured, and had decent security. Good spot, all in all. Let me guess. It didn't last. No, Tiger Claws took care of that. Tiger beat one of Lizzie's girls real bad once. No hesitation, Lizzie blasted the guy's balls off. Oh, the next day, Liz was done. Tigers gave this place up to the Mox in the end, though, didn't they? Sort of. The Moxes had to make a deal with them. Luckily, they kept their heads organized quick. The big boss now is Susie Q. But the sign stayed up, out of respect. Biz booms to this day. Good to know. Looking for Evelyn Parker. Know if she's here? Who's asking? A big tipper. Generous when I get the answers I'm looking for. I appreciate the gesture, truly. But afraid I don't get paid to talk. Opposite, actually. It's all Fair right enough. Tale. Fair enough. I, I respect that. Evelyn Parker. What? I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Is that song? Only tequila I drink. <laughs> How would you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Why are we meeting here? Any particular- Oh, look at my screen. It's going Actually, nuts. It doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I'll take that as a compliment. Come on. No place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. Okay. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. Anyone asks, we're not here. So, what Nothing's can a horny girl really? like me do? Why don't you just tell me the truth? You. I just Vanilla told you. Vanilla and sprinkle. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. I'm good at what I do. Got a solid crew at my back, too. Never once botched a job. You do realize I expect more of you than scraping street corner data terms. Much, much more. I'm the best, and I know what I'm getting into. Dex was clear. The job's high risk. Hell yeah, it was. <laughs> Trust me. By the way, you work together long? You and Dex? Just started working with him, in fact. I've heard there are two kinds of fixers. Those with stable crews on long contracts and short leashes. Loyalty and predictability they value above all else. Then there's the other kind. 
Dex's kind. Come on. Can't leave that hanging. Headhunters. <laughs> they lay their trust elsewhere. Not in people, but in a thing. Their intuition. They bet on potential. And if they lose that bet, it's the last mistake they ever make. I'm hoping Dex's intuition has served him well in this case. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I wish I they would change that dialogue so it's like, Relic. oh, you already talked Secure about the one thing. Trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka. Making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? Arasaka seems to have quite the touch with that hotel chain. But I gotta say, Compeki and Tokyo's still leagues above the rest. Two are identical to each other. Japan's staff. The service can't be beat. Singapore, Paris, Washington. Ugh, all the rest act like charity case cousins by comparison. Well, it's hard to argue with that. True. So where's this chip hiding? Damn right. Exactly. In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? In Night City? Huh. Guess the scream sheets weren't lying this time. It's on the lips of everyone in the city. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son, heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire, in town. <laughs> Please. Could it be? Emperor's prepared to cede his throne after 150 years? Doubt it. Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? Top dog like you Nobu is bound to have an army on call. Hotel's probably a goddamn fortress by now, too. Yorinobu keeps exactly no hustle around. Not one guard. Got rid of them a long time ago. Huh. Wow. Why is that? Surely you know what they say about Arasaka Into. Sneeze in Night City, and a blossom drops from a cherry tree in Tokyo. Yorinobu was convinced his Arasaka security detail reported directly to his father. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your tits perk up. Oh, there already are, trust me. swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch, aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is... Okay. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Heard a bit about Yorinobu. Studied finance and biotech in Tokyo, probably to please his father. Mm-hmm. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. But then Yorinobu cut himself off from the corp. Joined the Steel Dragons, Nomads, from Tokyo. Heard they were planning an Arasaka coup or its downfall. Hmm. That flash of youthful rebellion ended like it usually does. Yorinobu returned to the fold, but the bitter taste remained. You know your stuff. But that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has his own designs on the corp. I'm sure. Seems to be risking everything with this relic scam. Yes, because he's fallen for the biggest lie this town puts forward. That he can gain and retain control of anything. Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. 
brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. <laughs> Think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits? Jacking off to in those boxes? Yeah, yeah, I'll see ya. No. It can be a very useful tool. Good for analyzing details, human perception, even boosted, doesn't grasp. Exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite, the glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. You mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? No, not at all. Let's see this brain dance. Mm -hmm. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. Okay. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So you'll be a good girl, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. What? Relax. It's hard to Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. <laughs> hey, there you are. This is V. She's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Gonna make me barf. Sensory SIG amps, acoustic and emotive wave monitors. Oh, top shelf hardware. Yeah, most of it's customized. Only thing factory are the casings. <laughs> Mod all this yourself? What do you think? Expression translator. Fuyutsuki, right? Thought the matrices on that series were fucked up. They were, but swapping out matrices is simple. And this was the only model that would support additional scan work. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> I love it. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw. But yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to her. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we drop V inside? Let her look, let her rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? Think I can handle it. Let's just do this. Righto. Sit down. Settle in. We'll get you going. Woo. All right, ladies and gentlemen, before we hop in, we are going to pause it there, pick it up in the next episode, and guess go for a dance. So thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you can, give the video a like. It does help me out quite a bit. Also, check out the channel because I have tons of videos going on over there. Until next time, you guys, stay have frosty.